Hey everyone, my name is Andrew J. Clark. I'm a commercial and landscape photographer from Western Australia, and this is just a quick video testing out the raw video capabilities of the A7S III. To give a bit of context to this little test video, I'm primarily a landscape photographer, but I do a bit of commercial videography work with clients here in Perth. And although raw video was never really a selling point for the A7S III, I already had the Atomos Ninja 5 and I thought, well, I may as well give it a test to see if it's something I'd like to incorporate into my workflow. Very quick rundown of the gear which I used for this test. I've got the A7S III. This is the 90 millimeter f2.8 macro lens from Sony. The Atomos Ninja 5 on the latest firmware and an SSD. I'll put the product number of the SSD maybe up here. And this here is the 200 to 600 f5.6 to 6.3 G telephoto lens. I selected these two lenses for this test just because they're the best in my arsenal for creating subject separation and emphasizing textures and just for creating generally cinematic looking shots. So with that said, let's jump into the footage. If you've got any questions about the gear or the workflow, chuck them in the comments below. If you want to hang around to the end of the video, I'm just going to give some really brief thoughts on shooting in this raw format from the perspective of someone who's got a good amount of experience with videography, but not so much shooting in raw formats. So hopefully you guys thought some of those shots were kind of cool. What really stood out for me shooting in RAW is unsurprisingly so much flexibility in your exposure and in your colors, which really made the grading process a bit less stressful and really fun. Although it must be said that while you get more flexibility with tweaking your exposure and with changing your colors, you don't really unlock any extra dynamic range compared to properly exposed S-Log3 video. But in saying that, my experience was that you didn't need to be quite so precise with your exposure. 
when shooting in RAW. If you're the type of videographer who really likes to go for creative grades and really mess with your colors, shooting in RAW seems like a really, really good option to unlock some serious creative versatility in that respect. Probably the biggest downside from my perspective is just how massive the file sizes are. I was filling up this 500 gigabyte SSD with 15 to 20 minutes worth of shooting and the edit drive on my computer was essentially full of footage after two or three shoots. Meaning that if you wanna shoot in RAW regularly or for longer shoots, you're gonna end up spending a lot of money on hard drives and storage solutions. So with all that said, I'm probably not gonna be changing my vlogging setup to incorporate raw video, but I am excited to use it on appropriate video projects in the future. So that's it from this video, just a quick one from me this week. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate a like. If you've got any questions about the settings, the gear which I used, or just my experience shooting in raw, chuck them in the comments below. If you wanna see some more content from me in the future on the A7S III or landscape photography on Sony Alpha cameras, consider subscribing and otherwise I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.